today I am showing you guys how I got this lavender hair and I'm using blonde hair from Van Love Hair Mall and I worked with this company back when I was pregnant and they decided to reach out again um the first time it was curly hair this time they sent me um their straight 613 hair and i have three bundles and that is 226 124 and a 20 inch frontal so shipping with this company i'd say it took about i can't really remember i got it so long ago i think i got it in july but i did move so a lot has happened since then and I'm kind of late doing the video um, but the shipping was it definitely was under four days I believe and I basically just constructed the wig and then did the watercolor method now I did kind of fail because as you guys can see there's some streaks that are kind of I guess not silver but they look kind of there's different dimensions to this hair so I don't know if my camera is showing it good or not, but some spots aren't just lavender like the rest. And I wanted to go for a little deeper lavender, but I only bought two bottles of dye and I wasn't able to go back to get any more. So I just kind of was like, well, it looks good enough, you know, for a video and a couple pictures. So I just put it together and I was like, this is it. Now I'm probably going to keep this more than likely and going to curl it. For the 26, it definitely falls. I don't know if you guys can see definitely like the top of my hip bone so it isn't super super long but it's long enough far as how I did the frontal um I lightly plucked it but honestly it did not take long it literally took like 10 minutes and with blonde hair I usually have to pluck a ton but I didn't have to with this one so no problems as far as the frontal being too thick or anything like that like this is probably the only blonde frontal i haven't had to like go in and pull apart because it's just so so thick but i did use a door for this method and i used their lavender color can't remember what number but i will show it in the clips but yes that is really it just gonna show you guys the hair all the way to the front and it's a really pretty lavender color it's kind of like a faded uh lavender color i don't really like that much and i probably will go and buy some more bottles and do this method again overall it turned out pretty nice and yeah the hair will be in the description if you guys are interested but i'm not going to try to talk too much let's just kind of hop into the tutorial so you guys i am starting off using a pot of boiled water not to the boiling boiling point but it was pretty hot i let it sit for a few minutes and the adore that i'm using it is the number let's see if i can see okay you don't really need a number honestly just look for the lavender adore dye so i'm just squirting one bottle in there and i just was like i underestimated the fact that i needed more because this is longer hair and I did only get two bottles, so I think that is why mine turned out kind of blotchy. But overall, it does not look as bad. So I am still going to wear it until I am able to get, you know, those other bottles. But um, I've done this method on my channel before. Simply just dipping the hair and dipping, seeing how the color transfer. Dipping, 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 and basically dip until you see that the color has completely transferred. Um, you can let it sit in there. I didn't because I was actually in a rush, so this probably was just a mistake from the jump. But I've done color, color, uh, watercolor methods, and it hasn't been, you know, a problem to kind of speed through it. Um, but yeah, I dipped the hair, and I think I let it sit while I had left. I went somewhere for about 20 minutes, and then I came back home, and it wasn't uh, completely, you know, colored, but. The main parts kind of were, but then in the front there are kind of some blotchy spots. So that is all that I did. 